I'll show you how to use the calculator to complete the square here. Uh, not entirely sure if this is a cast only thing or not, um, but I could imagine it being that because it, it's kind of filled with equations. So say I have this, um, well, let's just do plus 12, right? Uh, so what I want to do is complete the square on that. So what I know is I take this, I divide by two, I square it. In this case, I would add it and subtract it from both sides, uh, add it and subtract it from the same side so that it uh, cancels itself out and then I'd be done. But anyway, the calculator can do it for you. So a menu, I'm gonna go to algebra, complete the square. Uh, now I have this. So I have x squared plus four x plus 12. Whoops, and then I have to tell it x. So x is what I'm completing the square on. So I get that, which is nice. Uh, I can just change this to whatever, 29. It just updates for me. Um, it can actually do uh, more complicated things. So if I uh, come up here, let me change this. Uh, so maybe I have a circle, x squared plus uh, 8x plus y squared plus 24y uh, minus 50 comma x comma y. And it's going to complete the square for me. Uh, if I put it in equals zero, I think that it uh, moves everything around for you. Um, I don't really know what the limit is on variables on this. There probably isn't one. Uh, let's see, z squared uh, plus uh, 50z. So now I have comma x comma y comma z. I don't know. Nope, still did it. Uh, that would actually be a sphere if you're interested. But anyway, that's how you complete the square on this thing. Uh, you can put an equal sign, you could not put an equal sign. Actually, one thing that's kind of weird is if you uh, only put comma x, it uh, does that. It only completes the square on x, uh, which I'm not sure why you'd be doing that, but uh, you know, that could be useful at some point. So anyway, hope you find that useful. Just another thing your calculator can do, so you might as well know how to do it.